Welcome back to Far Cry 5's Arcade Mode, the mode that can give you something really good, or the mode that can give you hot garbage. We are gonna have to go on another assault-style adventure. This is the seventh assault map that I'm looking at now. For you guys, it'll be the first one. But I, this is seven for me, because every other map either had too many enemies, or not enough enemies. Yes, I found maps where it just had one enemy. Oh. Please let this be a decent assault map. I've been searching for so long. Hard and fast. Well, all of these seem pretty well balanced, so I'll choose random. I Random said fast. Now we can begin. I'm here with my buddies that have collapsed from a mysterious illness called Bullet in the Face. The Bullet in the Face Syndrome. Uh, they, they're not looking too good. In fact, they need, to, they need to rest right now. They don't mind that they're not on a bed. They just need to rest. So uh, it's up for me to hold the line and do all the work. These guys are just enemies and they're moving on their own. Oh, I see what's going on. This is like a big camping spot. Uh, well, somewhat camping. Oh, careful. I don't want to get shot and die. This would have been so much easier if my friends didn't get catch a bullet in the face syndrome. But now they didn't catch... They didn't actually catch normal syndrome. So, now it's all up to me. I just found out I had piercing ammo, and I've started using it now. My piercing ammo will lead me to victory. Let's see if I can move in and get a little closer. Give me the baseball bat for now. Where is it? I saw someone with a baseball bat. I'm going to take it in case I have to battle Behemoth. Oh, now i got a shotgun. Now I have a shotgun. Now I have incinerary shotgun. People will burn. Burn for me. Ow, I'm catching fire now. I didn't mean burn myself. I just wanted to watch others burn. Oh shoot, heavy gunner. If I managed to get that heavy gunner, I got him. If I get his weapon, oh man, oh man. Yeah, you can keep your vector. I don't need it anymore. I'm fine with my current ammo now. Oh man. Infinite ammo, bitches. Oh, I just realized I had infinite grenades. I can just... Ow. No, I can't just do that. And... Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, that's definitely my bad. <laughs> the greatest enemy in life will always be yourself. And no one else. And that very much seems true today. Anyway, before I went down, I did see the Out of Bounds line to pop up. Assault. Also, my friends still seem to have Bullet in the Face Syndrome. They, they're, they've collapsed and they need to rest. But now that I have infinite grenades, I can throw this... and throw all of these and show it off to the world. As long as I don't accidentally blow myself up. Oh, Out of Bounds. Oh, I can't go any further than this. So this entire mission takes place here in this horde mode. Fair enough. This is where the mission has to take place. I get to stay here, and they're all going to keep coming. Boring! I have two suggestions on how to improve this map and make it better than what it is right now. The first suggestion, and I don't often say this, but turn on no health regen. Yes, turn on no health regen. Because with that being on, suddenly it becomes a lot more about survival. And you'll require your instincts and you'll actually have to avoid bullets a lot more often. Uh, all the enemies are going to come down one pass, so you're able to do a camping s s a spot anyway. Especially if you're playing on co-op, so it won't 
No health regen will just add that extra intensity. If you're not going to do that, then the second suggestion is to turn off infinite ammo and actually provide a limited amount of ammo. That way it e feels even more like survival. And without that though, it just feels like a really easy win because all the enemies are coming one direction. But I have been giving it a dislike though because it's surviving on its theme. I understand what's going on. It, it is supposed to be like this. So, that's all I can offer. That's all I can suggest. It's up to the creator if they want to utilize it or not. One million? Is that what that is? Let's see. One, ten, hundred, thousand, ten, hundred thousand, million. One hundred million unbeatable! That's what I believe it's saying, if my math work is correct. In any case, it's suggesting that it's unbeatable? Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Unchanged loadout names. That's lovely, but the top loadout has been changed. So it leaves the suggestion that uh, they want this loadout here to be picked and nothing else. Or at least that's the suspicion. But I'm going to go with nothing because nothing will make it truly feel like it's unbeatable. So you are my ally. Don't take them down. All right, well, what, who are my primary enemies? Oh my god, I pissed off a Yeti, I think. Yep, I pissed off a Yeti. I didn't even try, man! Come on! I'm di I didn't even want to play. I just I was just starting. I just started the mission and I'm already being chased by a big ape. Go away, ape! I've got bigger problems than you. Oh my god, the big ape's chasing me. It's chasing me. Oh, come on! Leave me alone! The Yeti won't stop! Oh god damn it, Yeti! <laughs> Please leave me alone! <laughs> Maybe if I go in the water, it'll stop chasing me. Just swim. Swim. Aha! Big Yeti's weakness is it doesn't like water. Well, that's too bad. Big Yeti will have to fight the big water. Or get bigger in the water. Yes, bigger is better. You will have to get big to the water. I'm being detected by the cult. My allies are probably all dead by now. And now the Yeti is doing all the work for me. <laughs> the Yeti is doing the one millionth work for me. I won't even have to fight at this, right? Get him, my Yeti. Get him. Sick him. Show him that you are the Yeti boss. Show him that you are all powerful and all mighty. That you can destroy all those enemies for me. That I don't have to do a single bit of work. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can do, do nothing at all except running away and then just hiding in the water. And then I can just get an instant victory. Oh, the Blood Dragon's now found the, the, the cult pack too. Oh boy. So I wonder what's going to happen when the Yeti and the cult, or when the Yeti and the Blood Dragon start fighting each other. Because that, that will eventually happen. They will get bored and start hitting each other instead. Oh, uh, the Yeti has gotten scared and run off, which probably means they've taken enough damage. Nope, never mind. There's just... The, the, the cult has actually gone over to another area. Oh, the Yeti's dead. Yeti is... Nope, it's not dead. I thought it was. I saw the rocket fly. I, I just... I thought I saw it get blown to smithereens, but no, it's still alive. It's doing more work for me. It's doing all the work. It's destroying them. Rip them apart, Yeti and Blood Dragon. You are my pets. I summon you to destroy them, to rip them apart, to get them, to make them feel like they're nothing. And they go in crap down. And that's it. I have won the one million impossible. It's one million impossible for me to give this anything but a dislike because you can just run to the water and stay in it and automatically get the win. So get that garbage out of here. I think we're going to end it here. This is going to be a short game. So thank you so much for all joining me and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.